Greetings, I hope you're having a very productive and positive day. So in this video, I want to share with you how to link to sections on the same page in WordPress using WP Bakery Page Builder, also known as Visual Composer. Okay, so what you can see is me is my home page that I've been editing. Now I'm going to show you when you link to a section on the same page. I'm going to show you how it works, and I'm going to show you a link that doesn't do that. So first of all, this link, right? So this image that I'm clicking, it takes me to another page, which is the old way I was doing stuff. Now this one, when I click it, it will take me to where the content relates to this image starts. So as you can see, scroll down the page and took me to where I set up this specific link anchor link the same for this one you know doesn't go very far so for me to turn this image into to work like these I'm going to show you how to do that now so with the um, your page builder you're going to go into the back settings first of all you need to find where you want to go so in this case I've got for example more traffic so where I want for the person to click where they're going to end up is this section where it's got traffic so we find that in the edit section now you can decide on where they actually drop or stop on the content i want them to come up to the title so i'm going to click on edit and what you need to look for is using design of um in the year 2020 um the last update um wp bakery uh, page builder changed the um, i think it was row ids it disappeared and now they're actually called element id so it does exactly the same thing so here is basically a little code or a text that you're going to reference so your link can jump to it so in this case i'm just going to call it the topic that we are talking about which is traffic so i'm going to save that and then i'm going to come back up here to the image which is this one and um, click edit and this is a part where you are now going to link to the element id i.e your anchor text so you're going to click url so you put your normal url which is going to be the same page that you're already on obviously but at the back end you're going to put hashtag and it's going to be traffic or whatever word you have used um, you in your element ID when you've done that click set link or save whatever your page builder um, shows you click save changes so in this case let me just save the draft so while that's saving and um, this can very much work on a one page and it can work anywhere on your website the only difference is you would obviously need to um, put the URL of the page where you want your user to end up and then you use your anchor ID or the anchor word to move them to what part of the page you want them to stop. So now we've done that, let's um, preview. So obviously let's update this section so I can test it out. So here we go again. So remember this one worked, this one worked, this one didn't work. So when I click this, you should now scroll all the way to the bottom to where that content relates. And there you go moves us straight to where that content is so that really short and sweet is how you create um, separate links on the same page and link to them using wordpress and wp bakery page builder also known as visual composer if you've got any questions drop them in the comments i will do my very best to help you out and answer them the best I can. Give this video a thumbs up, share it to those who would benefit from it. And you know what, I thank you very much for watching this video, I really appreciate it. So until next time, be passionate, be focused, and remember to share your gift with the world.